Okay, so let's show how to add a background into an image with a smart photo editor. So I've uploaded the images here, which you can simply do by open new or you right click on the image to select it if you've got a file. Okay, and um, there's lots of things you can do with smart photo. For example, to give you an idea, you've got effects gallery here. So simply click on effects gallery and select the numerous number of different effects that will actually add uh, an immediate impact to uh, an image. Uh, that could be things from like black and white, uh, I can brighten images up, adjust the um, highlights in an image to um, changing, uh, adding borders around it to give you an idea. Here's some effects for yourself. You have subcategories here to actually streamline it. So if you want just black and white, low color, vibrance, and actually want some details of depth of field, contrast, sharp images, here's your lighting work, uh, stuff. But for the purpose of this um, tutorial, let's go on to here. We've got com composite images here on the right hand side. This little square box. If we click on that, we get these two options. Now I always use the underlay option. So I click on that and you can select an appropriate background that you want to put into it. Okay. Um, so for sake of this, um, I don't know it's kind of think it's a bit gothic here. That'll do, not sure what it what, it, what the one that is. Okay. So you've got the image in the background, so you can click on here to move it about if you want. But Select the area and so you can add any takeaway and parts. We can change the brush size, you can see the brush size there. Maybe I want a really big brush size, but I like to keep a fairly small protection area. You can expand or reduce the problem, you can find soft edge or hard edge um, for yourself. And then you can literally just, I'm going to paint it onto the screen like that, you right click on it, keep your finger on it and just drag your mouse around. Oh, I'm not going to be too accurate with this. Okay, so for this. So what I tend to do is literally go around roughly the whole figure like that. The little paint rocks so it paints the rest of it in, and then what I do is go around in a little bit more care. You might want to reduce the brush size here. Let's adjust it around. Oops, gone a little bit too far, so let's go to the arrays. Within a few minutes, got an image which ain't too bad. Obviously, you select an image with less dark in it, it's a whole lot easier. Oh no, not too bad. So just scroll down here, like so. Slightly on top of the area, there we are. Bang. And all in all, not too bad. That's not one I would potentially choose. The background just doesn't work for me, the style, but that should give you a general idea of how I 
do my uh, background changes. Um, hope you enjoy it. Till then, keep enjoying. Bye bye.